Despite widespread fears of a catastrophic supervolcano eruption, scientists at the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory YVO, have predicted that any eruption there would likely look far different from the doomsday scenarios many imagine. Mark Stelton, deputy scientist in charge at YVO, explains that while the idea of a supervolcano which would spew vast amounts of ash and lava across the country and beyond is often sensationalized, such events are extremely rare. Yellowstone's last supervolcano eruption occurred about 640,000 years ago, and the likelihood of another such eruption in the near future is extremely low. What might happen if Yellowstone erupts is difficult to predict with certainty, although Stelton offers some insight into some of the more plausible scenarios. A smaller eruption, which is far more likely than a supervolcano, would likely produce lava flows or domes, which, while dramatic, are less destructive and pose little threat to humans. The lava flow could be slow-moving and not particularly dangerous to anyone because they can easily get out of the way, Stelton told Newsweek. I suspect there will be potential for wildfires because the lava is erupting at very high temperatures. I suspect there will be potential for wildfires because the lava is erupting at very high temperatures. Smaller eruptions have occurred over the past 160,000 years, with two notable eruptions occurring within craters, or calderas, formed by previous super eruptions. Sometimes these smaller eruptions can produce small calderas within the Yellowstone caldera, Stelton said. Such smaller eruptions can also be explosive. While they may not send large ash clouds across the U.S., such events would still create a sizable ash cloud that could impact the local climate, Stelton said. If a volcanic eruption occurs, scientists will be able to detect key warning signs well in advance. Large eruptions, and even smaller ones, are preceded by significant geological activity, such as earthquake sequences and rapid ground uplift movements that would alert scientists and provide critical time for monitoring and preparation. Yellowstone hasn't erupted for 70,000 years, so it would take several large earthquakes and ground uplift to initiate one, YVO writes on its website. In addition to intense earthquake swarms, with many earthquakes above M4 or M5, we expect rapid and significant uplift around the caldera, possibly tens of inches per year. Finally, rising magma would cause explosions from the boiling geothermal reservoir. One of the biggest misconceptions about a Yellowstone eruption is the potential for ash clouds. While a supereruption would spread ash thousands of kilometers, as shown in a 2014 study published in the scientific journal Geochemistry, Geophysics, Geosystems, smaller eruptions behave differently. Ash from smaller eruptions will likely follow a more localized pattern, with ash falling primarily on Yellowstone and the surrounding area. YVO urges the public to prepare for emergencies in general, but there is no specific reason to worry about a volcanic eruption. Since its last major eruption approximately 640,000 years ago, Yellowstone has remained essentially dormant and is likely to remain so for some time. While scientists continue to monitor the area closely, future eruptions are expected to follow a pattern of smaller, less violent eruptions, with minimal regional or continental impact. For now, Yellowstone continues to captivate visitors and researchers with its geothermal beauty, rather than the immediate threat of any major eruption.